Lisa Karpowski. I'm the direct, one of the directors. I'm the co-director of Enchanted April. I've been uh, wanting to do this play for a long time. It's a lot about uh, how do we find passion in life and how do we recreate ourselves when things get stagnant. Um, it's a wonderful play about people being able to let go of their defenses and find connection with, with other people. So it's, it's a wonderful play. I take breakfast promptly at 7 in the morning, luncheon at noon, tea at half past 4, and dinner at a quarter to 8. I like nuts. I am not interested in idle conversation. My only desire is to sit quietly and remember. Yes, well, that... Although I have great fondness for the Italian seaside, I have no fondness whatsoever for the native customs so many find charming. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Ann Springett, and I play the part of Rose Arnott, married to Frederick Arnott, the writer. And when we first meet Rose in the first act, I'm very unhappy. And how I cope with this is I throw myself into my charity work with the work of the church, with the school children. And I meet this woman, Lottie, who sweeps me up in this, in this wave, and we end up responding to an advertisement for a castle in northern Italy and the second act is all about change and transformation. Do you know anyone by the name of Wilton? Wilton? A solicitor and his wife. I make quite a point of avoiding solicitors. I met the wife today, a most unusual woman. Really? She spoke of heaven and home. Oh. She claims to see things. Ma, she says that I look to her like a disappointed Madonna. Ma, what is that exactly? Very nice to me. What is what? The song you're singing. Oh, a little jazz number I heard. Ma, he's making eyes at me. Ma, he's awfully nice to me. I am Mallory Monachino, and I am playing Lady Caroline Bramble. Um, she's one of the moderns uh, of the, the early 20s. Um, she's kind of a bit of a rebel, and um, she's looking for an escape from this life that she's sort of um, gotten herself into. It's a, it's a bit of a hole she's dug for herself. And um, she's sort of desperately looking for, for real love in life. You are an intriguing creature, Lady Caroline. I'm glad there are no men about. You are precisely the sort of woman who unbalances men. My mother unbalanced men, and I dare say it can come at quite a cost. Pricey, was she? What? I apologize, Mrs. Graves. Sometimes I can go too far. I understand some things myself, Lady Caroline, in my way. The burden of wit on our sex, for example. You can be thankful for your beauty. At least you are allowed credit for that. I would gladly trade it all, Mrs. Graves. For what? Things lost. How so? Jolly war, wasn't it? Except for those who never returned and those of us who loved them. Uh, Wilding considers himself, uh, he believes in the enchantment of the castle and he uh, wants to live that enchantment out vicariously through the other characters in the play because he has already lived it out throughout his life. And I am one of the characters who is caught up in the social structure of the time and uh, during the course of the play, my wife helps me to get out of my rut, so to speak. And my wife wrote that this was a party of four ladies. Yes. And you? I suppose I'm what you would call the landlord. You mean you are the owner of the place? Yes. Oh? <laughs> oh! Uh, my wife also wrote that uh, Lady Caroline Bramble was among the guests. Yes. <laughs> well...